A joint working group of Rolls-Royce and DRDO have started feasibility study for the co-development of a 116 kN jet engine, and after the successful completion of the feasibility study in the next 10 to 12 months, the governments of India and UK will sign a formal contract for the co-development with full transfer of technology and intellectual property rights. The 116 kN engine with stealth properties will be suited for fifth-generation fighter jets, and this engine will first find its way into the AMCA Mark II fighter jets, and will also replace the American F-414 engines of the medium-weight fighters and twin-engine deck-based fighters, when they are due for engine replacement. More details have emerged on the recently signed Memorandum of Understanding between Hindustan Aeronautics and Safran, and it includes transfer of technology in assembling and manufacturing to assemble the components of M88 engine with Hindustan Aeronautics for any additional batch of Rafale fighters for the Indian Air Force. Sources have said that Safran has quoted a price of 16,000 crore rupees for assistance on cavalry engine program, and while Safran's offset discharge value under 36 Rafale fighter jet contract was only 3,000 crore rupees, which means that India would have to pay the remaining 13,000 crore rupees, and both the DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics are not finding the French proposition to be worth moving ahead. While the metal cutting of the medium-weight fighter had started last month, new reports indicate that the Indian Air Force and Aeronautical Development Agency is actively considering to drop the plan of an internal 30mm GSH-30 cannon in the medium-weight fighter, and might go for a mounted podded gun system. The podded gun will increase weight and drag like any other external store, but it can be mounted only when it is needed for low and medium level targets. The discussion of removing the internal gun is based on the fact that its usage in air combat has decreased over the years, due to significant improvements in both long- and short-range air-to-air missiles. Rosborough Export has said that the contract for the shipment of S-400 air defense systems to India is on schedule, and the first unit will start arriving in September. Russian officials have confirmed that Indian military specialists have arrived in Russia and have started training operations on the S-400 system, along with comprehensive assistance in repairing Russian missiles of various designation at the Tactical Missile Corporation in Moscow. The DRDO is ready with the BOSS system, which is a border surveillance system equipped with a number of integrated sensors, and 10 km range day and night camera for carrying out automatic surveillance at the line of actual control. It consists of a battlefield surveillance radar system, an electro-optical payload that is mounted at the observation tower, and transmits real-time video and data to a range of 20 km to control station through wireless and fiber optic link. Hindustan Aeronautics has entered into an agreement with Israeli firm Elbit Systems, for the local production and supplying of digital overhead head-up display, that will initially be manufactured at Hindustan Aeronautics with transfer of technology, and later a dedicated facility will be created for mass production. The government is planning to disinvest its stake in few defense public sector undertakings, which includes Bharat Earth Movers Limited, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and MDNL Group. The government has categorized central public sector undertakings into strategic and non-strategic sectors, and it plans to privatize or shut them down in non-strategic sectors, with minimum presence of public sector enterprises in strategic sectors. The general director of Ukrobron Prom has said that Ukraine has delivered two gas turbine engines to India, which has been sent to a Russian shipyard to be equipped on the first two of the four upgraded Krivak 3 class stealth frigates. Ukraine has also signed four agreements worth $70 million at the Aero India 2021, which includes sale of new weapons as well as maintenance and upgrades of existing systems, and more proposals will be discussed in April. Ukraine has also offered its AN-178 medium transport aircraft, 
PD-2 range of unmanned aerial systems and Ram-11 combat loitering unmanned aerial systems to India. Lockheed Martin has signed an agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics to explore potential industrial collaboration and has offered to shift the production line of F-21 fighter jet under the MMRCA competition. Lockheed Martin and Tato Advanced Systems have also teamed to meet Indian Navy's proposed requirement for 111 naval utility helicopter with their 76D. In another development, Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited which already manufactures aero structures for Boeing's Apache helicopters, will start a new production line to manufacture complex vertical fin structures for Boeing 737. The US, India, Japan and Australia are working to arrange the first meeting of their leaders under the Quad framework, as the new US administration is eager to build on the renewed attention to the grouping of the four major Indo-Pacific democracies, and there are reports that the United States has already proposed the idea of holding an online meeting of the Quad leaders.